Hello and welcome back to On oh My Nosh. Today we're going to be making peanut butter and strawberry pancakes. Yes! Perfect for brunch at the weekend, lazy Sundays, and I will take you through it now. Okay, so you've seen the ingredients and we'll get going. So in a big bowl, we're gonna put 200 grams of self-raising flour. Chuck it in. It's been sieved. Make sure to sieve it. Then we have a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. A tablespoon of granulated sugar. Chuck it in. And then we're just gonna combine but not too much. Then in the middle we're just gonna create a well. Okay, so in the well you're gonna crack two, these are extra large eggs. If they're just large to medium, you might need three. So we're just gonna crack that in. Then we've got 25 grams of melted butter. Um, I've just let it sit for a few minutes so it's still melted. Um, we're just gonna pop that in like so. Along with 200 ml of milk, um, I have used lactose free, but you can use soy, almond, whatever you fancy. Pop that in too. And then the magic ingredient. We've got really good creamy peanut butter. Gonna give a good old tablespoon. Whack it in, like so. I mean. It's good. And then we're just going to whisk it all together, combine it to make a batter. Keep on whisking, whisking, whisking until it's lovely and smooth. Make sure with your peanut butter that you are using a smooth peanut butter, not a crunchy peanut butter. So that's a really nice consistency there. So we're just going to put that to the side while we do the strawberries. What we're going to do next is we're going to add 200 grams of frozen strawberries to a saucepan. And we're going to pop that on quite a high heat. So we're going to add in 4 tablespoons of sugar. And we're also going to add in 100 millilitres of water. Okay, we're now just gonna let that cook down. I'd say it takes about 15 minutes to become really nice and yummy. Obviously the strawberries are frozen, so it does mean that they take a little bit longer than fresh strawberries, um, but it's a much cheaper alternative than normal strawberries. So we've got the strawberries bubbling away there. Beautiful, they smell amazing. And they are just becoming a jam, basically. So we're gonna get our peanut buttery pancake mix, which is set quite nicely. It's got some bubbles in it, which is great. And then we're gonna heat this up. We're gonna pop a tablespoon of vegetable oil in the pan. Okay, so that's really hot. You're gonna ladle a mixture. It's quite thick now. That's good, because we want them to be sturdy. And you can probably squeeze two in, depending on the size of the pan, at a time. These should make about six to eight thick pancakes, depending on how large your ladle is. This is quite a big one. Then you're just gonna let that 
better cook and when it starts to get air bubbles you're able to flip it but make sure they're nice and brown my mixture was too there was too much from this plate on Turn on a medium heat rather than a high heat. I always feel like with pancakes you need that on moi salt. Okay, so now it's time for plating. So we're going to take a uh, tablespoon or two of coconut and vanilla yogurt maybe about four actually So there we have it, we have peanut butter and strawberry pancakes. Right, let's give this a try. Yeah, done. 